Hello, I'm David Rowe. I teach in the history department. I've been teaching history courses on the graduate and undergraduate level since 1981. And I would say that all of the courses I teach meet the same goals. Um, though of course, the, uh, the methods are going to be different depending on the uh, level of the course. Uh, rather than teach data about the past, I really encourage students to discover the past. Um, and they discover the past in a variety of ways, through primary documents, through, um, through books that are very well written, that uh, tell stories about people in the past and, and, and the way they live their lives, um, through a textbook that really focuses more on cultural history than any other form of history, and by using websites uh, in which people are encouraged to to explore mysteries of the past and come up with answers to, to interesting questions. Uh, for me, uh, history is a wonderful process of discovery and that when students discover the past on their own, they are more likely to claim it uh, as their own rather than by memorizing names and dates, which, which frankly I do not do. And in classroom work, uh, what we do is discover what they've, or discuss rather, what they have discovered and how they apply their lessons to their own lives. Sometimes when we do that, students discover that what they thought they knew, they don't know. Um, they, for instance, if they think that the Emancipation Proclamation ended slavery, they're shocked to find out that it actually freed very few slaves. Uh, what does that do to Abraham Lincoln's title of the Great Emancipator? Sometimes that can create some tension. Oh, the tension is good. That simply means that you're discovering something new and, and trying to reconcile it with something old. And if the two don't fit together, then we have to ask the question, what do we do about it? Do we hold on to the old in spite of the new information? Do we reshape our values and, and carry on in a new world? Just what do we do with that? And that's a very exciting part of the process. So I, I approach that, uh, the teaching of history in all my courses in just that way. But I, I teach four basic kinds of courses. One is the um, American History Survey. All people in the History Department teach survey courses, and, and I focus on the U.S. Um, I teach survey courses, History 2010 and 2020, and I also teach honors sections of those courses. And frankly, uh, the way I teach them doesn't vary very much from uh, non-honors to honors sections. What I find is that people are interested in, dis in discovering and exploring whether honors students or not. Uh, and I'm really, really excited by what students come up with and, and, their, and their excitement about what they're discovering this uh, in, their, in, their, in their work. Um, so we, uh, we, we uh, encourage uh, personal stories from the past and, and we learn from them and share them with each other. Um, I also teach courses in my specialty, in my research specialty, American Religious History, uh, which really is the history of religious experience in America. I teach uh, what is called a basic uh, survey course in American Religious History, and we explore um, religion from the standpoint of two questions. How did American life shape religious experience, and how did religious experience shape American life. And we do that in terms of the whole spectrum of Christianity, Catholics and Protestants and Orthodox. Uh, we explore the, the nature of what we call, uh, what we used to call outsiders in American religious life, uh, Jews, uh, Muslims. Uh, African American religion plays a huge role in, in shaping the life of the country. Um, and we also explore Buddhism and Eastern religious experience. Uh, it's a lot to ask in one semester, but uh, what happens is students uh, learn more than they ever thought they could learn, and they also learn to appreciate the variety and diversity of religious experience in our midst, and that's a very, very good thing. One of the favorite te courses I teach is a uh, summer Maymester course called uh, Preachers and Prophets, uh, Southern Religion in Film. Uh, and we uh, do some readings to inform ourselves about Southern history and the role of religion in the South. Um, but mostly we watch movies and learn to distinguish among history, uh, uh, story, 
uh, what story does to history and what history does to story. And then the influence of the medium film on, on both the story and the history. And that's, that's really exciting work. And we watch movies like uh, The Apostle and Once in a Bound of Time When We Were Colored and Sergeant York uh, and several others as well. Uh, a third kind of course that I teach uh, includes research and writing courses, both for graduate students and undergraduates. The undergraduate course is called Historian's Craft, and there we explore the work of historians. What does it mean to think historically? What does it mean for me to be an historian? Uh, how do historians do their work? Uh, and that's all tied up with the historical method. Uh, and we follow that method in the course to uh, produce, and each student does produce, an original piece of historical research and writing uh, on topics that nobody else would ever think to do because they're focused on local topics, uh, pieces of property, individuals nobody ever heard of, uh, events that, uh, again, no one in town uh, remembers. Um, but doing that kind of nitty-gritty work is very exciting, and the students walk away from that course having actually functioned as historians for the first time in their, in their lives. Uh, and graduate students produce a, a, a piece of original writing, too, that uh, sometimes contributes to their thesis or their dissertation, or sometimes it's just a topic of interest. Uh, but they come out having learned the systematic way in which we go about our job which is very, very important. And the fourth area of courses I teach are t courses in the honors program. As I said, I teach honors sections of history 2010 and 2020, um, as, as do other people in the department. Uh, one of my favorite courses is uh, a senior interdisciplinary seminar called Living the American Dream. And in that seminar, we uh, examine what the American Dream is, how it has changed over time, evolved over time, become very complex. Uh, what are the forces that shape it? Uh, we then examine ourselves. Uh, students do autobiographies. They talk about events in their own history. Uh, and we explore gifts and talents. Uh, we just got through that process where each student listens to uh, meaningful episodes in each other's lives, and heroes and heroines, and, and discover what each other, what each student has to offer, what each student has to bring to his or her own dream. And then the student projects his or her dream to the whole class using whatever medium they wish. Music, film, um, narration, poetry, art. Uh, in some way they will all let us, each of us know what their American dream is and what it will look like if they accomplish it. And that's my favorite course in a way because it puts together all the pieces of a university education. Uh, the capacity to discover, the capacity to, to discover oneself as well as a theme, and then the capacity, the creative capacity to put it together and project it as a dream that others can, can share and understand and say, that's, that's really you. Uh, 